What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is actually take two, because I'm a brilliant person and was just taking photos on my phone while I was filming this, or not filming it. But anyways, welcome back, I'm happy you're here. So first and foremost, wanna say thanks. Um, we are almost at a thousand subscribers, which is something I never thought I would actually hit. So thank you guys for tuning in, checking it out. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and uh, keep giving me your comments on things. And it's been really a cool process, so I hope to keep doing it. It's like 20 degrees cooler out today than it has been the last couple of weeks. So definitely going to get the car out, going to give it a wash and uh, talk about a few other things today. Some of my other projects um, that are going on in the garage and show you some more parts and it should be fun. 1987 John Deere SX95 mower. So this was my dad's and uh, I've had it sitting here a while, just needed some love. So get, got a shop putting some tires on the back for me. I've got a short somewhere in the system and it keeps eating up new batteries. So Anyway, it's a fun little project that I've been working on on the side. And then uh, yesterday, finally put up a nice oscillating fan. The thing's actually super loud, so I'm not going to have it on during the video, but uh, moves a ton of air in the garage. It's going to be really useful when we start tearing the car apart. Uh, do have an insulated garage. If you don't have uh, these panels on your garage, be it single car, two car, whatever it is you got, and if you don't have those and you have the sun, so you can see the shadow. The sun actually hits pretty much through the first half of the day directly on my garage door, so... It will, uh, it used to bake in here really, really bad whenever I didn't have these panels. Now it still gets warm. That's something I noticed. So part of the reason was on those hot days and sometimes super humid nights here in Tennessee where I'm at, uh, having this fan will be super huge help. So gosh, man, my workbench is filthy. I got to pick all this stuff up anyway. So got some parts, man. Got some more stuff for the build. Already got this one out because I was actually filming but taking pictures so this is a dynasty billet girdle for the vq35 de this thing is clutch and absolutely a, a good piece to have in the event that you're going to try to build a high horsepower de which is what we're doing and i say high there's plenty of other builds out there that are going to be higher horsepower than mine but you know for a couple hundred bucks 300 to 300 bucks it's worth getting this piece uh, bolts onto the bottom of the motor. Only sad part is it, it looks so good, but you're pretty much never going to see it once it's in there and installed and buttoned up, but it will be doing its job uh, to keep your motor in good shape and to hold the power if you decide to turn it up or get, do something crazy. So Dynasty build it girl, Billet Girdle, that's a mouthful. Uh, check it out if you need something like that. This is a Momentum single turbo kit install manual. It's for G35, but a lot of this stuff's pretty much the same. Uh, very detailed great pictures great descriptions i've pretty much flipped through this and looked at um all the different things it talks about doing the um, fuel pump and doing all kinds of different things in here so if you uh don't have one of these for your turbo kit uh, look around see if you can find one i'm definitely thankful to have that so all right so also from z1 got the oil pan spacer comes with some rtv if you want Got the oil pickup spacer as well, and I got it with the uh, the drain fittings, so it's got plugs for that. It's very nice, very nice looking piece. So you got your oil drains there. Ah, very cool. So it goes in and drains straight down. It's a pretty slick piece. So I actually had a Gretty oil pan um, that I picked up used, and just kind of changed my mind on it the way, when I was looking at it with. It's set up more for a uh, a twin turbo setup. I mean, this one's, you could do the same because it's got ports on both sides, but um, I didn't have the proper plugs and I had, it had the fittings on it that came with it, but I researched a little bit and it basically put the drains on the very, very bottom of all of your oil. And I read around, some guys tap. So in the actual momentum kit in the install manual, it recommended uh, tapping the upper oil pan. So that way, I mean, there's probably plenty of reasons. If you guys know exactly why, definitely comment and educate me on it. But from what I understand, you just don't want, if you put it, uh, the drain back on the lower side of the oil pan on the bottom of the Gretti, et cetera, I guess it will actually fill back up that line. And then you get this weird situation where, anyway, research into it. Let me know what you think. I just thought this made more sense. It's a nice piece. I've got tons of Z1 parts on the car already and i'm thrilled to have some more stuff from them so if you need stuff like that check them out if you just want some higher oil capacity you can get this i believe without the oil drains completely you can just get the spacer so if you want that on an na motor uh, to go with an oil cooler just increase your oil capacity
all done and all clean. Thank you for checking the channel out. Again, we are super close to a thousand subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough for subscribing, liking, following the videos, commenting on the videos. Please let me know what you want to see. There's a lot of content to come, including pulling the motor, building the motor, turbocharger. If you're not up to speed on all that, check out the past few videos I've posted. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and an awesome week. Catch you next time.